Thank you very much, Brad. It's on. I assume it's on. Everybody in the rear can hear me okay? Yeah, it's on there. I want to thank uh, Brad Sherman for his leadership on issues such as this, uh, for his stewardship on the Foreign Affairs Committee, and for his friendship. I respect and admire his positions because they are principal positions. And I, when learning about this gathering and learning that Brad was putting it together, instantly said that I wanted to be here. Um, I should tell you that for me, I first paid attention to Pakistan in 1971. I was a college freshman. There were two things that year that caught my attention on the international scene. One was the apartheid system in South Africa, and the other was the civil war going on uh, that ultimately ended up creating Bangladesh. So I've had my eye on both of those over time, I must admit. I worked feverishly on the apartheid system uh, for about 10 or 15 years until we were able to get Mr. Mandela out and then brought him here to the country and the rest became history. As you know, he became president. But this issue, this whole notion of the Civil War uh, and the creation of Bangladesh and the future of Pakistanis is something that really concerns me. I met recently in my office uh, with a gentleman by the name of Anwar Hassan, who brought with him several uh, Pakistanis from across the state of Maryland uh, to meet with me to make sure that I could hear firsthand their pleas and their positions. And it was out of that meeting and learning about this that I wanted to be here today because I want to associate myself with the remarks of Brad Sherman, who said, I too am a friend of Pakistan.